Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Big Dang Ass Views. Alright, I have uh, my friend with me, Caleb Waller here, who's unfortunately wearing his damn husky hat. Deal uh, with it! Oh, uh, you son of a bitch. Ah, uh, sorry. And, um, anyway, we were originally going to be doing a review on the monstrosity known only as Mars Needs Moms. Oh crap, sorry about the lighting here. It, I'm just using my new phone and because the uh, camcorder isn't working right now, so... Anyway, um, so we're, we're just browsing through some of the movies that we had optional to us, and we decided on doing it on a different movie called Nine. This movie came out in, I believe, 2005, you said earlier. No, oh, 2009! Oh, dang! 2009 Universal Studios, um, apparently. Oh. And I, I had originally seen this movie uh, quite a while back, on the TV edit, and so we're like, might as well. We got a movie to do I want to do with a friend, so might as well. Um, what are your thoughts on it originally? Definitely not as creepy. Definitely not as creepy. Like, uh, how so? Like, did it, did you make, did it make you wet the bed originally when you saw it? <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> Just, you know, kind of freaked me out with all like the robots yeah, coming in and doing all this and that especially that um cobra guy. the cobra oh god oh god that that thing like sincerely creeped me out a couple of years ago and I'm, and I'm like oh hi how's it going <laughs> yeah uh spe speaking of that uh three evolution thing or whatever you want to call it um recreation <laughs> yeah what, what was it originally called the hunter or something like that or just plain old machine or like the um the thing that recreated them no the um it was originally the wolf then it turned into the bird then it turned into the snake um it was created by the machine originally yeah but what what was it called like uh, what did the nine little trinket guys call it the beast yeah, the beast. Yeah, um, one one thing that really surprised me was that they kind of did an evolution with this thing that the uh, trinket guys, the nine guys that ran away, uh, that ran around and everything, they called it the beast originally. And so when I saw it, I was like, okay, uh, what? Why do they call it the beast? But yeah, oh dude, well. it's a robot. It's a dog wolf thing that's like <laughs> three hundred times as big as them. Yeah. Have you seen the machine? They should name that the Beast. No, that's the ultimate beast. Oh, that that <laughs> works. Uh, anyway, um, my personally, I prefer the uh, second evolution, if if you will, the second form of it, the the bird one. It reminded me a lot of Laser Beak from the Transformers series. Um, and I, as you guys all probably know, I'm a big Transformers fan. So when I saw it, it's like, okay, that just looks. Too much like laser beak, and it, it, I was kind of shocked that they did that. Um, but oh well, it it's Tim Burton's. Hmm. Yeah. Didn't he do like some other films that were kind of creepy? Well, he I know he did Corpse Bride. He did uh, Edward Scissorhands. I I got uh, or I've seen quite a few of his films. He did. Um, I know he did Night Over for Christmas, which shirt I recently got. <laughs> that was um, awesome. Oh, that that movie's just amazing. He's done Edward Scissorhands. He did. Um, didn't he do the uh, Barber one with Johnny Depp? I don't know. The, the one that comes to my mind is Coraline, but I. Oh yeah, he he did do Coraline. Oh. <laughs> I still haven't seen that movie. I I read the comic though, but I still haven't seen that movie. I really want to. Um. But yeah, he's done many films. Um, didn't he do Frankenweenie? I'm pretty sure he did Frankenweenie, which... I don't know. Um, I thought I saw it on Netflix a couple months back. But yeah, I'm I, not I, too sure. I think they still have it on Netflix. We should give a watch after this review. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, the so we were watching this film and we... Literally just got done with it five, ten minutes ago, and yeah, I, I really love the visuals that they had in this film. I mean, it, it was just amazing some of the visuals that they had. I mean, I, and this is in 2009 compared to even stuff that we have just a few years later, it's definitely advanced, even that 
short amount of time, but still, that was just, wow. I mean, oh my god. Um, uh, I got, even, even some video games that uh, came out, like, a few years ago, they still look good today, and it's, it's amazing how far they come, but still maintaining their grounds. Yeah. After how, after years of just having more and more things come out on the market. Um, so overall, what, what were your thoughts on this one, other than having it being creepy and all that stuff? Um, character-wise, you know, it was pretty interesting having all the, um, having like the nine part, nine creep, nine thingies, I don't know trinkets. what to call them. Sure, trinkets. <laughs> they, they never gave a name to them, the last nine stage of human evolution. Creepy dolls. That, that work. Uh, or spectre dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Fake trap. No, no. I don't know. Cop cat, maybe. No, I don't know. Anyway, um, the doll guys, like uh, you see nine at the front of the poster. Yeah. Um, it, it's still to me, it's one of those movies that it's it's great, but still it has some plot holes. It, it just doesn't seem complete. Well, after you watch it in a whole. I, I love the character development. But at the same time, I mean, the, it's just... It's hard to explain. Uh, when when I was watching it, I was thinking, okay, they, they kind of have plot holes here. I mean, I mean, like, the ending was so abrupt, it didn't make any sense to me personally. And it, it just wasn't... It, it just wasn't the best, in my opinion, of the film. It, it was an okay one, but overall it was... It, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how I would call this one the end, but it's okay film, I guess. Yeah, um, I think it's pretty good for me, you know, kind of like a college student, because I remember, yeah. I remember seeing, I think it's in here as like some of the added features or something like that, but it's like the original film of this was just like a short film. It, it was made by like a college student, hmm. and then apparently someone liked it. Yeah, Tim picked Burton. it up and how it made it a movie. How do you say this last? From producers Tim Burton and Tim Moore Beckmambitov. Beckmambitov. Yeah, so, kind of sounds like Ukrainian or Russian or somewhere from there. He's a senior in high school. It makes a lot of sense. He knows this crap. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, o overall, it, overall, I like the film. I enjoy it. I want to watch it eventually again. But there are some other films that I... It's just one of those I like. If you have the urge to watch it, I'd, I, I'd definitely give it another watch eventually. Uh, it's just not real one of those movies that I'd be watching nonstop. Not, not like a dress park... Um, or the Predator movies, or like Rambo. I just got done watching Rambo a few weeks ago, and it, it, you, you know those, you know those type of films where you just want to watch it nonstop. You're like, I can't get away from, it. I can't get away from it. Yeah, kind of like Despicable Me. I just love those oh. minions. <laughs> have you seen the second one yet? Yes, we Good. have it. I thought you only had the first. No, we got the second for Christmas. Crazy. <laughs> um, but. But yeah, ov overall, it's it's a good film. I, I really like it. Um, I love the story. I, I don't love the story. It's... Could probably use a little more improvement. Yeah. They, they could have done some different stuff. They could have improved on a lot. Um, like, oh, what what do you think? What do you think overall? Like, uh, what, what should they have improved on? Um... Maybe making that little happy scene a little, um, longer, maybe? Which happy scene? The... The one where they have, where they have the record Oh, playing. somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah. Way up, main villain. That's, that's basically all they did. All they did. It was like, 
Right in the middle of the song, then you see the main villain who they seemingly destroyed, spoiler, um, rise back up, and it, it was, yeah, you, you're right, it was a little bit too abrupt, but, um, at the same time, it's, it was a, too abrupt for it to all happen all at once, but I think that they gave it enough time, but that, that's just me. I, I prefer movies that are like that, that give the audience hope. But then, yeah, false hope. Yeah, like having this thing stand up right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm sorry about this, guys. But um, but yeah, that but that's just me with the different films. That that's just my own ideas as a viewer. Um, There's one thing that I never can figure out. What? How did the machine escape from the bridge? When, oh, um... It's like, okay, from so the bridge he's... Part? Yeah. Uh, after the... After the thing collapses? Yeah. What? Uh, so for the main villain... That was the house. It wasn't a bridge. No, it was a bridge. I, I couldn't tell. I, th I thought that was just that... A huge factory that toppled over him. It no, a... it was shortly after he... After the happy scene, they oh. went to the bridge to oh, escape. Oh, yeah. yeah. I never quite figured out how he would have managed to get out of that. Yeah, this thing with the red eye, if you haven't seen the movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you, have a, you have a point there. I, I agree totally. Um, yeah, you, you have a point. And... Here's another thing that really confuses me about this film. When the hell does it take place? I mean... <laughs> That's it, a good question. They have future... Uh, now... And le just listen. I, I know that you're going to be like, Oh, no. But just listen here for a minute. Okay, so... They are in kind of a high-tech high, high tech time. They have machines that are doing all their bidding and everything for the humans before the machines turn against them. Like... Uh, Terminator, so it's more like, it's more like Terminator meets Transformers. <laughs> but anyway, um, but anyway, af after the machines took over, it, when they're showing on the viewing, it was all in black and white. Yet, they had these holograms that just appear, not holograms, but, um, like, Vader should just appear, like, rise up, have the thing, almost like, it's almost like Oz the Grand Powerful, except no fog. When uh, when he projects his face onto it, oh, and yeah. I saw that movie, wasn't too impressed with it. I'll review that at a later later time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but that that's just that's just me with this film. I uh, I think that has a little bit too much plot holes. Um, yeah, and definitely with that time thing, it's like when when's it taking place? Is it in it's the like future? a combination of like. It's almost like, like mid night mid twentieth century. Yeah. With like three hundred years late there in the it, it's almost like Iron future? Sky. It's almost like Iron Sky. Uh I think that's the name of the film. I haven't completely seen it, but um I went over to my biological father's house uh, one year and anyway, they're watching a movie called Iron Sky. I, I'm pretty sure that's the name of it, where Basically, the Nazis have been hiding out on the moon for years or something like that, and then they come back. There's, it's it's confusing. It's like it's like um, <laughs> how how do I describe this? It's almost like Hydra from the Marvel universe meets reality, and it conflicts, and they all have the same bad costumes. But um. I didn't watch it all the way through. I just watched part of it. Hmm. Um, we can't just watch on Netflix later if you want to. I, I saw on Netflix a while back. It's not that good of a film. Or, but I haven't seen it all the way through. I just was bored with it after a while. So, Yeah. But that's just me. So, overall impressions, uh, rating of 1 to 5 of this movie. Would, and would you suggest it to other people? You know, I definitely would suggest it, um, especially if you're looking to scare the crap out of, like, eight-year-olds. 
<laughs> oh. Because I think I was probably around that time watching it and going, I was kind of at like a phase in my life where it's like, Everything's real. Pirates of the Caribbean still freak me out. <laughs> and I was like... You, you got a point. You, you what got a point. It's just... Uh, I was probably, I think, eight years old when... I, maybe a little bit younger when I saw Jurassic Park for the first time. Yeah, seeing all those dinos. But then again, but then again, my name on here is Dino, Big Dino Guy, so... I'm just saying in my entire life, of course, I, I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but yeah, I definitely agree with you. I think that it definitely deserves a, um, I, I think that I would definitely suggest this film to anyone who is willing to watch it. Um, just watch it. Just have fun with it. Don't be, don't be making too much out of it. Don't be like, how is this all going to happen? Don't, don't be like Avatar. Oh, a chronological order of everything. Oh, make all this other lore or anything else like like what they do with Alien Predator. <laughs> Just don't ever try doing that with Nine. You'll be confused out of your mind. And yeah, that stuff. And you'll still be confused. A couple years later, you'll be like, hey, I remember this one film that made absolutely no sense. Yeah, it agreed. So it's a good watch. I'd give it a watch later. I... I think out of five stars, I would give it a, I don't know, three stars at the most, two and a half more, somewhere between there. For an animated film, um, yeah, for an, it's for an animated like, film. I definitely thought it was like 2005 <laughs> era, because there's no way that it can really Ooh. be like 2009? No? What? I'm trying to shake your paw? <laughs> yeah. Buttercup, Buttercup, everyone! Clap for her! Clap for her! But, yeah, I, I agree. I think that it's a good film. I'll give it a watch of, uh, years from now. Uh, I'm sure about that. So, anyway, so, how many stars again? Sorry. I'd probably, you know, go like three to three and a half. Alright, so, a little bit higher than me, so take your, uh, three to three and a half, or two and a half to three, in my opinion. Anyway, so, it balances out to be a pretty average movie. Yeah, it, it's, it's an average movie. It's a, it's a meh film, not too great, not bad either, so. Indeed. Yeah, definitely give it a watch later, and, uh, I hope you enjoyed the first review of this year. Hopefully, Hooray! Hopefully about to have this idiot over again. Hopefully. Hey, now. It's true, you're a senior. Oh, crap, I'm dead Hello. now. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm dead now. All the senior people will go after. Hey, how dare you? <laughs> Shit. You'll get your chance in a couple of years. Yeah, and what? Yeah, give it a couple years. All right. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys may next week, maybe. Um, but by the way, on that, I'm only going to be doing reviews for um, like two times a month. I've been going through some stuff right now in my uh, just going through some stuff. So I've been very busy the past few weeks, and um, stuff is still going to go on. This summer, I might not be able to do reviews, but I'll I'll, I'll go more into that more into that stuff later. I more than likely will, but you never know. So, I'm sorry I haven't been here for so long. Like I said, I've just been... This shit hit the fan. That's <laughs> just, just still weed. Guilty. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and hopefully you and I will be able to get together again. This is my friend Caleb Waller. I'm Big Down Guy. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good one.